everybody. We are here in St. Petersburg in Russia. And this is the first day of our Russian Federation tour. It's going to be a month. Uh, there was somebody waiting for us at the airport, driving us to a pretty big hotel downtown next to the Neva, the, this huge river, which was totally frozen. And tonight we're playing the uh, Aurora or Avrora, as they say in Russian, I guess, uh, venue, which is right over there. And it's named after this boat behind me right here. The Aurora, which is some crazy Russian warship, I guess. We, well, basically the first day was just partying in the lobby, like poor, like the poor rockers we are. And then um, we played uh, we played a show in this huge venue that was actually just next door from the hotel. It was really, I would say, huge and way too huge for us. It was crowded and it was people seemed to enjoy all the all the bands that were playing there. Quite of quite kind of um, international festival uh, with uh, bands, foreign acts like um, Heavy Lord and uh, Eve and generally from France that I discovered there. All pretty good bands, pretty good people too. We had a blast. It was amazing. Sold shitloads of merch and after the show we had to rush out to catch the night train to uh, to Moscow. a train, night train, and we had to somehow fit our backline in, in the corridor of the train, which was big, like... But it was like stiflingly hot in the, in the compartments in the train, so we all just laid there naked basically all night long and nobody slept for even a minute, I think. Um, but we had a good party, it was, it was fun. And uh, Moscow was simply amazing. We went to, the, to this huge square next to the Kremlin, uh, we were just like tourists, like it, it seemed like an organized trip. We don't have much time to hang out and shows like curfews are really really early and we didn't have much time to discover anything to be honest I mean from my side at least from my perspective and I feel like so far I'm just playing venues and eating potatoes and cabbage all the time Moscow show was absolutely amazing <laughs> It would be like in the 10 best shows we've played, I guess, in terms of like crowd intensity, you know, and it's like people knew the lyrics and they were completely full on after the show, everybody wanted to talk to us and whatever. And although it's never the shows where you played the best, but it's always the best shows, somehow. And Moscow in that regard was brilliant. The venue was more adapted to the size of the crowd we can draw there, I guess. There were not too many bands playing, just if and, and us, which was better, I think. And then it was really a really powerful show. If show was really, really good. So we had to, you know, we, we had to play something. We had to, be, we, we had to prove ourselves that we can make it. And um, yeah, the crowd was excited and we were too. And it was the first really proper, amazing, fat sounding show we played in Russia. And the crowd was really, Going nuts, people as usual were touching Jonas' legs and uh, and Loic's legs, and Loic was making a mess out of himself. It was the most intense show. The audience was really into it. You don't think about Russians like being into it, but they were. And we had an absolutely awesome night out with all the guys. Two clubs, like to, to a club, then to another club where we couldn't get in, and to another club, uh, and finish in the first club in the end. And um, yeah, we had a good time. For all 
again the second time with our friends from EF, the Swedish uh, band that we already played with in 2010. They're good friends of ours, we hadn't seen them in a while, so it was great. we had a great party with them in St. Petersburg and in Moscow again. Uh, in St. Petersburg actually, even before the night before the show, we all ended up getting completely shit-faced in the hotel bar and you know it was a really cool, fun night. And then in Moscow, everyone had a blast. It was only the two bands and we both really, really enjoyed it and uh, apparently had a big party afterwards. After the Moscow show, we basically spent the next three days on the road, non-stop more or less. We met Ivan, our driver, who's a legend uh, uh, and our proper van for this tour. Uh, the first drive was a pain in the ass, like there was snow all over the road, it was pretty much a blizzard. And road conditions here in Russia are not really like in Central Europe or in the US, you know, it's like lots of bump holes and for 100 kilometers in Europe you need an hour, but here you need like two to three hours. The roads are so fucked that you can't help like a, being shaked like a fucking, I don't know what, in the, in the bus and you're always jumping and every bump wakes you up and, and stuff like that. But it's quite an experience, I mean, that's what Russia is, that's what Russia roads are and I mean, we have to deal with it. The other cities which were much smaller are deep Russian cities. Uh, crowd was different, much younger, but still pretty good crowd, pretty into it. Like a few people only, like maybe three rows of people, you know, like 40 people, but really intense as well. And I don't think it was, uh, it wasn't people that knew actually the band. I think it was just people that were discovering the band. Russian people are completely crazy like they really know how to party and they always want to drink with you and take you out after the show which is amazing and they always come to take pictures which is sometimes a bit annoying there's like 50 people queuing up to take a picture with you and you just feel like a you know like a puppet standing there and <laughs> like hugging people that you don't know um, we don't really get that in, in Europe it's kind of crazy here and they also want you to sign everything that they can find basically not just CDs and vinyls and shirts but like um, random sheets of paper, money bills. I signed like a bunch of Russian money bills. I don't know what people do with it then. They probably won't spend it anymore. <laughs> so I don't know. And uh, all different kinds of uh, body parts, limbs, asses, tits, bellies, male and female, everything. It's, uh, it's quite hilarious. We are really good um, taken care of and I really can't complain about nothing. People are still different, they speak a language that we do not speak at all, that most of them cannot understand us, so it's always refreshing somehow to, to do that kind of tour. And you have to deal with it, but so far I'm having a really good time. We've had some amazing shows, people here are absolutely crazy in the smaller towns as much as in the bigger towns and I'm really fucking looking forward to getting to Siberia now. Yeah. 